I hope you guys really understand what's going on for the past three years. Not just Elon, but in digital currency in general. Family, there's going to be more than $250 trillion that will be ready to be injected into the Bitcoin ETF. There, people are tired of the printing. Gold, when gold goes up, I mean, we're holding cash. We're losing 75% of our buying power with fiat. Solana is going to overtake Ethereum. They're competitors right now. And with Solana partnering with Dogalon Mars, it's all an answer. It's a win. It's a win. And if you guys can't understand what's going on in the headlines, how they are only saying Bitcoin ETF, but they're not explaining to everybody that the whole crypto space is going to see a spurge of new millionaires. New millionaires. Now, again, we have a Bitcoin having that happens every four years. A, a bull run usually lasts around 14 to 15 months. If, if, if it stops, that's if it stops. But with the institutions going ham into digital currency, See, they're just using the, the phrase Bitcoin ETF. So everybody is acknowledging and believing that, okay, yeah, they're just going to buy Bitcoin ETF. No, this is in general, as in they're going to also accumulate some cryptocurrency as well. They're tired of the bonds. They're tired of shares. They're tired of all this stuff that's going on. They want to have control over us and money. So anybody can talk crap about Elon. But what I do know is I still control my purchasing power with Elon. I still control my purchasing power with XLM. You control your purchasing power by investing into digital assets. By digital assets. Now, what I've seen since Elon came out, they have been working. They've been fixing little bugs here and there, and they are ready. They are ready. Now, Michael Saylor, Michael Saylor, and, and excuse me, we're going to be into a historic moment. A historic moment. Again, Satoshi, he holds about 1.4 million Bitcoins. Um, Michael Saylor, he holds about, what, 188,000 Bitcoins. I may be wrong. But what he is doing, what others are not seeing and understanding or recognizing is that all his earnings, his earnings of what he makes, He's dumping it all into Bitcoin. He wants to have the most Bitcoin. He was buying Bitcoin at 41,000 when everything retraced and we had that bloody bear market. People thought he's going to kill himself and whatnot. He didn't. No, he seen a opportunity. Like right now, I see a opportunity with Elon. 2021, Elon was way above six zeros. Again, it was way above six zeros. And a lot of us investors, we have bought into at the highs of five zeros with Elon. Now, the price is where we are at right now. This is a opportunity. This is the opportunity. It's dollar cost average of how much you buy. But honestly, with this mind frame and understanding Michael Saylor, 
of what's going on, he sees. We will have more power with our digital assets because we accumulated. And it's never too late. And it's and we're still early. We are still early. So before I even get on to the rest of that, now, of course, you guys have spotted that with the whole PIP. It's the one platform for all your crypto payment needs. But as you guys seen on the bottom, it said invested by Coinbase, incubated by Binance. I'm not saying that we are going to be on a listing soon, but they are aware of Elon. So, I mean, I understand we could spam the hell out on Binance and Coinbase. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But you guys are missing out on the bigger picture. Accumulate. Accumulate. Elon. Solana. See, when Elon and uh, HTX did that, they're doing that giveaway, you know, with the Solana, you know, grab you some Solana, drop your soul address. They're giving you guys some bits of information like, yeah, Solana is in competition with Ethereum. It's in competition with Ethereum. Now, most of you guys may know of Kathy Woods, but ARK Invest sells more Coinbase shares. Now, this is, I want you guys to understand this now. I was into the stock market buying some Coinbase shares because I'm like, well, hey, you know, that's the only, I know cryptocurrency share that is Coinbase, which it first came out at $250 per share. But with her selling her Coinbase shares and allocate $92 million in ProShares Bitcoin future-based ETF, what does that tell you? That is telling you that they know what's coming. They know what's coming. And what are you doing? What are you doing? Were you? She sold 148,885 Coinbase shares on Wednesday as it continued its December selling spree for coin. The firm purchased 4,320,000 units of ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETFs family. Now, well, Michael Saylor, he's trying to hold more, you know, Bitcoin than Satoshi. He knows the value is always going to rise. Yeah, we may retrace, but the value is always going to rise. I'm not going to go at whereas, oh, well, you know, you sell at the top, wait for the bottom, you buy back in. At this time of life, this history, that is going to make 2024 one of the most historic years for us, it's going to really show us what's really going to go on with crypto. Are we just going to cyclone all the way up or are we going to gradually increase? As you guys know, he holds, like what I said, 189,000 Bitcoins. That's worth $8 billion. But then he just spent another $615 million acquiring the latest Bitcoin purchase at $42,000 per Bitcoin. Now, I'm not telling you guys to go ahead and, you know, after you pay your bills or whatnot, just throw all your money in there. You know, again, it's not financial advice. But the whole world doesn't know it. The whole world doesn't know it. They, The world does not know that, like, this was your opportunity to get into the crypto space and understand it and research and accumulate of what you could, you can 
because there's going to be a lot more homelessness. There's going to be a lot of it. People are really going to go ahead and go to their 401ks, trying to cash out this and this. It's, it's going to be too late. So, you know, this is going to be a, hist a historic moment for, in general, all digital assets. All digital assets. So, whereas you feel like it, it may be a scam, listen, that's why I keep my digital currencies on my ledger, which is an description link down below. That's why I hold my crypto. I know what's going to happen. You guys can't say that Elon cannot eat three zeros. You guys cannot say that, you know, we may not even touch a, a dollar. Nobody believed Bitcoin will ever reach the highs that it have reached over the years. Now, I'm not comparing anything else, but I'm just letting you guys know is as long as you hold you some bags and you do have extra cash. Think about it. Think about the future. This is why I talk about generational wealth, financial freedom. Because I know you guys are sick and tired, sick and tired, sick and tired. But if you're sick and tired, I hope you guys are doing your research. And understanding that our time is coming real soon. As would they say, meme coins are on the rise. But we haven't seen anything yet. We will see a Dogecoin that's to a dollar. We will see it because it touched 79 cents. We will see XLM shooting up to 50 cents. Or maybe even higher. But if Michael Saylor is accumulating so much Bitcoin. Micro strategy. And... All these other major institutions are like, well, man, this guy here, he's he's accumulating. He's accumulating. And like, you know, the Rockefellers, the elites, they see it. They're like, we can't be left behind because he knows something that we don't know. But we know that he's going to be one of the heavy players into this crypto space. It's not about controlling the markets. See, when you buy shares and bonds, they control it. They could sell, they could dump it. But when you buy cryptocurrency where the value is there, you have the purchasing power to do what you want to do. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. It's a historic moment for all of us. We are going to see that change. We are going to see that awakening that will be happening. Peace out, fam.